Dear colleague, have a good day. Uh, I am Marco Prazan. Together with uh, Victoria Prikotka, we are conducting research and uh, here we'll share uh, with you high quality education for better sustainability and resilience. This is a general structure connected with our workshop, uh, general context, uh, situation in Ukraine, in similar this similar project, uh, problems and uh, possible solutions, the role of academia and universities, and further development, considering possible risks. As you know, our workshop connected with some subject, some of them you can see here. Which quite, that is quite complex and uneasy task. It worth doing and a lot of research. Together with that, the uh, situation is much more complex and complicated because of huge transformation in the world. We have a poly crisis in energy sector, climate change and flesh on nations that uh, led to the situation, uneasy situation with supply chains. Wind and solar to, we could get for free, but not raw materials. Not raw materials, not finance and uh, stability in supply chain. Uh, as you know, uh, it takes $250 billion uh, according to estimation given by EBRD currently. We know much bigger numbers. Uh, we will face uh, this challenge after our victory. Said that, we have to understand that the situation is not easy with uh, big project connected with critical uh, infrastructure uh, or something others. Uh, ben Flyberg with his colleagues uh, has shown that uh, in database of 16,000 projects, only half percent of total number were has been done in time under the budget and according to expected profits. The second point uh, is uh, human capital. The situation is Ukraine in Ukraine is not easy because of about 8 million people leave the country, hopefully for a while, and they will come back. But fact is, uh, now they are not in Ukraine and uh, uh, more uh, decremental research show, has shown that uh, about 7, mil, uh, 7 million uh, male we have in the age from 18 till 16. They are fighting in our army. They will be engaged in rebuilding, in the supporting economics, but maybe this number is not sufficient. In the wake of uh, previous solution uh, problem, we could find some solutions. Key point is education. The second, uh, internalization, internalization of connection with research and development centers, think tanks like DARPA in US, in Canada, program Horizon, and uh, provide education based on at tech platform. We provide study about 150 education at tech platform in the best institutions. For technology adoption and automation to create productivity growth in Europe, there are three main prognoses we are 
the education system from the governments have a role to play. Uh, first, rescuing, rescuing and upskilling human capital on the people already in the working lives, more than 50% on the total number. Second, tens of millions and new jobs. Third, automatization will grow uh, by over uh, 50 million uh, by 2030. There will be a critical need to create uh, unique and teach different jobs. Most jobs uh, requiring green skills represent annual uh, growth with uh, 8 20 percent. Competences and skills involve changes in training objectives and uh, the expanded training results as findings uh, necessary from implementing professional tasks such uh, as hard and so soft skill, understanding taxonomy and the stakeholder rel relations. The balance between theory and pra practice is uh, essential. Thus, is change in society in different domain create the quest for the modernization of education. But the uh, popularity in the learning process is about uh, four or five uh, years, and the demand demand can be more. To ensure sustainability and resiliency of energy system, we need to obtain access to the uh, maturity technology, finance and uh, policy and uh, relevant legis re uh, legislation. Uh, say that we need to understand uh, about risk because, because technology could be mature but uh, could be in process maturing, so-called maturing or immature. Uh, for middle or low income countries, much better to rely on mature technology technologies. Access to finance. Uh, global economy needs to get trillions dollar and with the uh, financial mechanism uh, access to capital provides the same job we need to uh, do in Ukraine. And uh, with regard to legislation, policy, government regulation, standardization is a quite serious subject to follow. The, the next slide is about further development. As you know, the ECG reporting and disclosure uh, will become uh, mandatory uh, since 2024. It means that each company or institution will have sustainability departments, uh, CSO and others. This uh, direction will be connected with uh, technological requirement level and uh, we should consider it holistically plus finance. Thank you. If you have question, I will happy to answer. We will happy to answer.